and welcome to PC Academy. I'd like to just start off by saying a big thank you to the new subscribers. I'm always happy to receive anybody who's uh, willing to subscribe and jump on board the channel. As you know, I'm not a professional YouTuber or social media guru, so to get anybody new, uh, you know, is always great. So getting back to this video, well, we have a HP here that has a hinge that's completely sheared off the lid and ruined the touchscreen, which is a 15.61. So first of all, I'm gonna have my uh, coffee and then we're gonna get straight into the video. So let's do this. So as you can see here, uh, we've got an extremely damaged touchscreen HP laptop um, well damaged, cracked, as you can see there. I've got it clamped up at the moment um, just to keep it upright. And you'll see what happens if we take the clamp off. There's not much there that uh, is going to hold up on its own. I'm holding it at the moment. And as you can see, it's pretty bad. So what we're going to do is disassemble this laptop to remove the screen and cover from the base so we can work on the touch screen. Remove the screws. So there's four at the front there. Two in the middle at the top. Use my magnet to get the last one. Don't want to lift it up too much because we know we've got a damaged hinge. to the time there we have it so with the base cover off obviously we have access now to the hinges and, and connecting cables so we'll go ahead now and remove those so quickly looking that needs to be lifted up etc so I think before we go too far we're gonna lift this battery out That's all the screws removed. There we have it. So we just need to remove that connector from the motherboard. And that's that connector out. So that's the battery now removed. So there's two screws here for the hinge. So we'll go ahead now and lift up the plastic clip. There we have it. Pull out the VGA cable. Put the clip back down so that it's safe and doesn't get damaged. Just lift out the wire. There we go, that's loose now. We can now move on to the other side. So on this side, we've got two more sc screws. That's those screws out and the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna unscrew the Wi-Fi card. And I'm gonna leave the cables connected to it for now. So 
So there's a cable there, and there's also another cable here. So again, there's a plastic clip. I'm not sure what that does, but it could be a webcam. Put the clip back down, so that's all the wires now removed and all the screws removed. So we're just going to try and lift these hinges up. Okay, so from what we can see, there's a hidden screw under this side, under where the DC socket goes. Okay, so it looks as though there may be other screws um, underneath some of these boards. The hinge looks like it actually slides under. So we're going to have to take out, I think, this board. So it looks like there's three screws in that board. Not sure about that screw there yet. Lift up the tab, move that cable, okay, and then that board is now out, and as we can see here, there is another screw for the hinge, so we shall take that screw out, that's now loose. So there's obviously a hidden screw on this side. I think the DC socket might have to come out in order to find it. Hopefully not all the board. So we'll work on that now. We'll start with this little screw here. So let's take this motherboard screw out. And we'll take this one out as well. Just taking a few of these screws out to give us a bit of flexing. So the motherboard then should be flexed enough for us to lift it up to have a proper look underneath. Okay, so as you can see, we can lift the board up a little bit without straining it too much. And the hinge goes underneath here. So, okay, so. We shall lever this up and then try and lift the hinge up. Okay, this hinge is badly damaged, obviously, on the touch screen part, which is why it's moving around. But it looks like the hinge is now away. So the hinge is loose there, the hinge is loose there. So this should now just pull away. So there we go, that's the base. With the main lid touch screen. And as you can see how badly damaged this is. Just applying a little bit of pressure, finger pressure. And go along and unclick the bezel as well. Okay. So that appears to have come away. And what we are left with now is just the connecting cable. forward a little there we go with now is just the connecting cable here to the main uh, screen and a cable here as well okay that's that cable disconnected so, just this one as well. 
which seems to go into here as well as well as there so it looks like there's some tape there and some tape there as well looks like there's a little flap at the back here there we go and that one pulls out Again, little flick there. That's now out. Put that back. There we go. So what I've done now is I've glued the hinge back into place onto the top lid, and then used some WD-40 etc. Uh, on the hinge to try and reduce some of that resistance. Everything seems to be correct from what I can see. Uh, it comes complete with the bottom board, but I'll have to swap over the little board from the old one uh, that goes here for the two cables. So this is the board that apparently has to be transferred over. I think I'm gonna transfer it over with the silver tape. So there's the tiniest of two little raised pieces of plastic that go through the holes on the board so you can't get um, the positioning wrong. So that's going to fit there and the tape there should just go underneath this board. the wire I think behind like that. so the hinge glue and everything now has all been cleaned off um, so that there's no glue actually above the frame so that's all been tidied off now and feels strong enough so there's no reason why that shouldn't hold so it's a case now of getting the touchscreen back into this frame. So this is probably going to be the hard bit, having all the wires in the right place. But we need to give it a go, so here we go. Tip it over first. Get it in roughly the area it needs to be. And then mess about with the wires. So let's just get the screen roughly where it would go. Come out. And then there is these wires. This one as well. Okay, it's roughly in place. So we'll just check the wires are out of the way before we start pushing any of this down. So I've cleaned out a little bit more of the glue. It's practically flush, bar this little bit at the end there. But I expected a little bit of issue um, just because the hinge has to be glued. However, I'm more than happy with that. That doesn't need to be in anymore. And it's meeting more or less there at the bottom as well. So I'm more than happy. Okay, so let's feed the base back into place. Go. 
and then the next stage is to get this hinge as it was under this board which was a pain in the first instance but we shall do our best now to get this back into place. So that's the Wi-Fi and everything connected. We'll get this hinge back in place, which appears to be there. Put the remaining screw in there. And we've got this board to fit. Lift up that flap and put this cable back in place. And then we've just got this VGA one to reconnect. Okay, so that's everything back in place. I think we're just going to connect it with mains power for now. And see if it fires up well, with a power light and the fan is spinning okay so we're going to fit the battery Okay, let's get the screws in. So here we have the uh, finished HP laptop with the new touchscreen installed, Windows reinstalled fresh. And as we can see now, um, if we press Obviously, the touchscreen part is all working. So that's the HP now, completely finished, all working. So that's always a good thing. Uh, the reason behind gluing the lid was a brand new lid uh, was really expensive and the used ones available only had damaged touchscreens in them. So it meant 100 for the lid and 100 for the screen. Problem is, we didn't know the quality of the hinges that would have been on a used lid. So that's why I took um, the decision to glue the lid uh, to the hinge and then that would give it extra strength, which now seems to be working fine. Um, hopefully I'll get on with another video very soon, but until then, thanks for watching. Bye for now.